With Band in a Box 2023, we have lots of new features, 222 new reel tracks, and more. We get many of the ideas for the new features and new reel tracks from our users in places like our wishlist forums, support phone calls, trade shows, and more. In most cases, customers are not describing a new feature, they're describing a problem they have that they would like to be solved. And that's where our 75 requests and problem solved list comes in. If you're not familiar with Ban in a Box, it's an auto accompaniment program for Windows or Mac and allows you to create amazing backing tracks over any chord progression in any key. Simply type in a chord progression, pick a style from literally thousands of available styles, set the tempo and press play. And what you're hearing is real tracks, which means it's real instruments played by real musicians, able to play over any progression you enter. And all the music you're hearing in this video was created this way. So without further ado, here are the 75 requests and problems that we've solved with the release of Ban in a Box 2023. With Ban in a Box 2023, we've introduced Partial Regeneration, which allows you to select a region in the chord sheet, audio edit window, notation, or piano roll window, and regenerate the reel track for that part. So for example, if you've generated a guitar solo and like everything except a few little parts, it's easy to regenerate just those parts with a handy F8 hotkey. And if you still want something new, you can keep going with up to 40 different variations and Edit Undo will return to the previous one. In addition to the handy F8 hotkey, Option F8 on Mac or Alt F8 on Windows brings up a floating window for partial regeneration, with options to manually select regions and change the reel tracks being generated. And you can keep this window open as you continue working in Banana Box. And the Undo also now works for undoing an entire song generation or an entire track generation. You can now copy, cut, paste, delete, insert, and do other editing functions to the Real Tracks tracks, which allows you to edit the tracks while preserving the ability for the tracks to regenerate new material. And doing these edits to Real Tracks does not force the writing of new audio material, so the file size saved is tiny since the track is not converted to audio. With Band in a Box 2022, we introduced playable reel tracks, and now with Band in a Box 2023, we've added playable reel drums. In many cases, these are drum sounds recorded at the same time as the corresponding reel drums, which means you can get the reel drums to play the notes you want at key parts of the performance, either augmenting or replacing what the reel drums is playing. This includes full drum kits in GM note number format. The notes can be entered in the drum notation window or the piano roll window. And the playable features also now extend to MIDI tracks and MIDI super tracks. This means the features such as adding mute regions and preserving playable notes you added are also available with these MIDI tracks. We've added a master track which has volume automation like the individual tracks but which affects the entire mix. This allows easy creation of fades, crescendos, mutes, etc. We now have reel track stems for ensemble reel tracks. You can generate the stems, which are the individual tracks as recorded. So for example, for a string quartet, there would be five tracks available to you, the full mix and four separate tracks for each of the four instruments. This allows you to mix them as you'd like and also mute parts if you just want to use some of the tracks, or maybe if you want to play along. So in this example, we have violin one, violin two, viola, and cello. And because they're on separate tracks, I was able to mix them differently, focusing more on the lower instruments in the quartet. Drum fills can now be controlled, so you can get a drum fill at any bar without needing a part marker section change. You can also get no drum fill on the bar before a part marker. You can just right click on the bar or use the F5 bar settings dialog to do this. We're now including Synthmaster Player Synth with any purchase of Banana Box 2023. This award-winning synth by KV331 Audio has thousands of presets that are especially useful for modern pop, EDM, and similar genres, and also includes many sounds which use arpeggiator features. And we've made Synthmaster presets that you can choose in the high Q patch dialog by using Synthmaster as a text filter, and we've also made styles and MIDI super tracks that use Synthmaster sounds. And Synthmaster can also be used with other DAWs and other music software on the same computer that you have Band in a Box 2023 installed. 
and we've made new MIDI super tracks that make use of the great arpeggiator features in SynthMaster. We've added a new dialog that appears in the style picker when you press rebuild. This dialog shows you the current locations of your reel tracks and reel drums folders and allows you to change them. It also tells you how many reel tracks and reel drums you have in the currently selected folders, so you'll know if you've found the correct folders. The track regeneration has different riff settings, so you can ensure that when you regenerate, you'll be getting different audio each time. We've added an auto save song feature, which prevents losing your work if something crashes on your system. This will restore the previous song you were working on before the crash. We've added stereo VU meters on the mixer so you'll see panning information for each track. We've added audio input monitoring. This means that when a track is armed, you're hearing the audio input through Band in a Box along with effects that you have on the track. There's a new right click option in the Real Tracks Picker with several items, including one that will launch the style picker filtered to show only styles that use the selected Real Tracks. Also in that right-click menu is an option to toggle favorite reel tracks, which can then be viewed by pressing the Faves button. Another item in that menu is a similar button that will show reel tracks similar to the currently selected one. For example, if you find a pedal steel at tempo 120, swing, choosing the similar will show you what other pedal steels are with the same tempo, feel, and genre, followed by similar instruments. The right-click menu also now exists in the Real Drums Picker with similar options such as the Toggle Favorite option and the Show Similar option. There's a new filter in both the Real Drums and Real Tracks Picker to show Real Drums or Real Tracks with stems available. We've improved the Copy Song to Clipboard feature to include an option to make the output tab delimited so you can paste them into a spreadsheet like Excel or Sheets. And there are other new options, such as the ability to add bar numbers for each bar, and another one to add slashes for beats that don't contain a chord. And you can also now include lyrics. The song picker now auto-rebuilds for folders if they contain less than a specified number of songs. This means that the song picker will show all songs, including new ones, without needing to rebuild. There's also an option to include or exclude subfolders from the song list. Also, the message about rebuilding is now a question, so that pressing yes saves the extra step of needing to rebuild it. We've added the ability to write a chord track to any track, with control over note range, higher extensions, and more. This works great with SynthMaster for pads and arpeggiator features. And the chord track features can also be used for VST plugins that automate voice harmonies. And the note range feature in the chord track can also be applied to any MIDI track, not just newly generated chord tracks. The notification messages that appear at the bottom right of the screen are enhanced. They are smaller, occupying less of the screen. Also, the message colors can now be chosen in the display options dialog. And a handy function has been added to easily see the flash message log. If you type log as if you were entering a chord, the log file will open in a text editor. You can now double click on a style in the style picker to hear a portion of your current song, and it's settable to various numbers of bars. A small number like four is great to sample styles because it will generate faster. Now when you load a song and don't have the style, you'll have the option to launch the style picker to find similar styles to the missing style. If it's a PG Music style, you'll also be able to preview the missing style and find similar styles that you do have. There's now an option for the generated intro to use chords from your song. For example, you can use the last four bars of the chorus, which are usually good chords for an intro. We've improved the track settings and actions dialog with MIDI editing commands like transpose, generate chord track, transpose octave to note range, etc. There's also a new button to copy or move tracks here. here. The Track Settings and Actions dialog serves as a multi-picker to choose real tracks, real drums, MIDI super tracks, and more. We've added a new section at the bottom of the What Add-ons Do I Have dialog that lists missing styles, real tracks, real drums, X-Pro, and extra style sets, with links to pgmusic.com where you can download them. We've added demos for all of the playable real tracks. These demonstrate these MIDI sounds, first by playing four bars of the playable sound by itself, then four bars of the playable sound with the band, and then you hear four bars of the corresponding reel track. There's a new option to change the velocity and volume of playable reel tracks and playable reel drums. There are new hotkeys for changing note times, command option arrow left and right on Mac, 
or Control-Alt arrow left right on Windows. You can now highlight regions in the standard notation window. Rests previously did not move from the treble clef to the bass clef and vice versa when using visual transpose in earlier versions. There's a new notation setting for note color. Chord tones, scale tones, and other notes could be set to different colors, making it easier to spot wrong notes. There's a new option to print lead sheet from the file menu, which will print things like first and second endings. Importing a music XML file to utility tracks is enhanced, so you can specify which tracks they will go to. A song setting to allow chord variations in repeated sections has been added. If this is set, Band in a Box will use the custom chords you have entered in the repeats. If you have not specifically set that, all chords within repeats will automatically update when you press play. This did not happen in previous versions, so you'd often have instances where it appeared chords were being played incorrectly during repeats. There's a new hotkey, Option Shift Z, to solo the current track. On Windows, it's Alt Shift Z. The feature browser has been updated to include the latest 2023 features. There's a new button to filter the list to show the latest 2023 features. You can enter the feature browser easily by typing slash enter as if you were entering a chord. The DAW button now turns bright red to clearly indicate the DAW plugin mode is currently on. And there's also lots of great new reel tracks, reel drums, and other great content. We've expanded our collection of producer country guitars, which are intended to be layered in your song for a full produced sound. We've added new jazz piano reel tracks where there is a left hand only comping part. So when you use it with a right hand soloing reel track, it now generates parts that are realistic for someone doing a two handed solo. We've added new jazz fusion and funk styles that feature legendary drummer Mike Clark, who has played with some of the world's most influential musicians such as Chet Baker, Tony Bennett, and many more. He's probably most well known as a drummer for Herbie Hancock's Headhunters Band. We've added lots of requested blues styles, including new guitar and harmonica with Pat Bergeson, lap steel with Rob Ikes and Eddie Dunlap, and more blues with Nashville great Johnny Highland. We've added a new set of blues instrumental studies for guitar. These are short studies that you can play along with to work on your blues chops. And even if you're not a guitarist, you can use these studies by playing some of the studies on other instruments as well. We've added lots of new styles that utilize the great sounds in Synthmaster Player. Some of these include Unbend, Relax, Modern Pop, put upon ambient modern pop, and more. Along with our new modern pop synth master styles, we've also made new songs with vocals that use those styles in Songs with Vocals Volume 3 and 4. So you want to be bad, you do? Throw away what you had, so brand new. Got it all figured out, like a French marquee. You want it all right now, including me. We've added new prog rock styles to Band in a Box with multiple grooves, each with brand new guitars, drums, and bass. We've added requested new wave reel tracks and reel styles in the styles of some of your favorite 80s new wave bands. Last year we added sitar, tabla, and dolak with real styles to go along with them, and this year we've added even more of those instruments. In addition to that, we've added a traditional Chinese instrument, erhu, and plan on expanding that collection even more in the future. There are also requested metal styles featuring new drums, basses, and guitars. And the guitars are all 12 key, meaning Band in a Box does not need to use any pitch shifting on the audio making for a more consistent tone no matter what chords you enter and in what key. 
In addition to that, the guitars are seven string guitars, with the extra string being a lower string, so you get that great growly low metal sound. We've added six new requested auto harp reel tracks to add to our existing collection. There are three new MIDI super track sets available, and there are two new Look Ma More MIDI style sets. There's a whole set of indie folk singer-songwriter styles with a laid back but still very modern sound. We have a whole set of requested contradance guitar and piano, along with real styles that use those real tracks. We now have a one-click installer program that greatly simplifies downloading and installing Band in a Box packages. And this includes options to specify the Band in a Box folder and the real tracks and drums folder locations within the one-click installer. There are options to re-download and reinstall any individual packages included in your order. And there are, of course, still options to download from your download page. And the files you install will be exactly the same. There are also great new styles packages, such as Extra Styles Packs 14 and 15, that add hundreds of new styles compatible with Ultra Pack and Audio File packages. There is a new Real Combos Booster Pack for our pro users, and which also adds new styles and real tracks to the Mega Pack Edition. And we have X Pro Styles Pack 4, that adds 100 styles compatible with any Band in a Box package, including Pro, Mega Pack, Ultra Pack, and Audio File. The X-Pro Styles Pack also include all of the content needed for the styles to work with any of those packages. We hope you've enjoyed this video on the 75 questions answered with Band in a Box 2023. Thanks for watching and have fun!